Okay guys, got a little nifty little video here for you tonight, this evening, today, whatever. Uh, how many of you guys, how many of my subscribers, have a AM FM clock radio at their disposal? I'm sure everybody has these. Ain't that display freaky how it comes in and out? I don't know if you see that on the video. That's uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a lot of digits are coming in and out there. Anyways, so we have here a 24-hour clock. 24-hour clock. Uh, but did you know that some of these type of AM FM clock radios you can actually change the 12 hour clock to 24 hours with a simple circuit change to the circuit board on the inside well with this video I'm going to show you how you can change this clock from 12 hours to 24 hours I've yet to open this one but it is a General Electric and the model is 7-4835 Bravo made in China so yeah so we're going to convert or possibly convert this clock radio to 24 hours instead of 12. If you're interested in hanging around and uh, seeing how this is going to work out, by all means, let's get going. Okay, so first thing we're going to do with this thing before we do anything is, of course, we're going to unplug this thing as it's being fed with 120 volts at 15 amps. That would hurt the fingers. So, pull the power. And then, we shall remove these screws. One, two, three, uh, four, five. So we have five screws that has to be removed. So, Try and remove them. There's one. Have to have a little container to put the screws in afterwards. There's some screws to just stubborn. So we we'll just leave it there, tip it over, and pop it out afterwards. Da -da 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 -da. So. Yeah. Looks like we've got another one there in the center right there as well. So we'll move that one as well. We've got arrow on it, so I assume it's got to be removed. So I'll remove it. Alright. Tip her over to get rid of the other screws. So we'll just open up the radio, whatever way it wants to open up, either on the bottom or top or, or whatever. I'll get back to you once I figure this out. Okay, so you actually take it apart from the top, you start from here and you kind of like go up like that way with it, and then the front panel here will pop off along with all of this. And you might be left with one piece of plastic like that. Might be just bombing around in there. Well, that just sits right there for the mode switch. That's what that one does. But anyways, the chip that we're actually interested in, it's, it's not this one, is not this one, but it is 
this one. That's the clock. That's the one that uh, that's the chip there that controls the clock. So now we need to do is find out what type of chip this is, and try to see if we can locate the pinout online for this. See if we can figure out uh, what pin on this chip will enable the 24 hour versus the 12 hour clock. Most of the time, at least in older radios, all it is is you add a jumper. You just add a jumper to it and that would give you switch it from 24 to 12. And sometimes it will even show on the board this position that needs to be done. It will actually give you 12 hour and 24 hour next to each other. One will be for your, obviously for your 12 hours, and the other one for your 24, so. Yeah. So we do have something similar to this. Right there. J1 and J2. Um, kind of looks like J2 is used for something, so we're not going to, we're going to ignore J2. <laughs> but, we're going to see if we can figure out what, uh, what part number this chip is and see if we can get a, a pin out for it. Okay, there's been about an hour researching um, about this particular model uh, radio, clock radio. There is little to absolutely nothing online regarding a schematic for this thing. You download a manual, but there is no schematic whatsoever that I could find for this uh, GE7-4835B. Um, the IC chip processor, as you can see, uh, it has been, I guess, wiped in regards to any information on top of the uh, processor here. You slightly pick something out there, slightly. I see a three, five, six, possibly a zero, but that's all I can make out. The top of this chip has been intent intentionally. Uh, wiped so I guess so the design can't be copied I suppose lack of a better explanation but that's not here nor there I paid three dollars for this thing basically the only reason I bought it for the most part is for the tuning capacitor <laughs> over here for building the radio circuits like Billy you know but for three dollars, let's uh, investigate this chip a little bit. I do know that on older uh, radios, clock radios like this, there was usually a jumper you'd had to put in between twelve or between twelve o'clock or twenty-four o'clock or twenty-four hours rather. And underneath this capacitor, hiding away, is actually another jumper. You have J3 and J4. That's uh, J4 is jumpered, J3 is not jumpered. So we're going to take this circuit board out of this radio and we're going to take a look underneath this thing and see what we got. Okay, so we have the, uh, the board swapped around here and underneath we have some electrical tape and underneath this electrical tape is this here pin and normally what would you would do with at least the other the older radios is you would jumper put a jumper across here between one of the pins and ground which would convert the radio 
a clock to 24 hours. So seeing this is seems to be the only pin that's not jumper to ground. Maybe this one, but this one here is not. We're going normally. Uh, as far as I can remember, if the pin wasn't grounded, you'd have to, you'd have a 12-hour clock. And if you jumper the pin to ground, it would give you a 24-hour clock. So, we're going to be a little devil here now, and we're going to jump this. And see if, see if it converts this clock to 12 hours, or to 24 hours, versus 12 that it is now. So, let's get a little jump away. So, I tried uh, the, the uh, pin here. You ground or move this jumper and, and I put this one in it didn't convert it to 12 or 20 it didn't convert it to 24 hours so we're going to move down to J1 and J2 J1 being this pin J2 being this one this one has a jumper this one does not so what we're going to do again this is totally experimental for sake of three dollars, we're going to play with this circuit. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, figure her secrets out. But anyways, so what we're going to do again? We're going to remove the jumper from here, from here to there, and we're going to move the jumper to here instead and give it a try. So, and see what happens there. Okay, so we have all zeros. Which is actually a good sign. So I've uh, over two here. So I've cut J1, and that put a jumper in for J2. Now we're going to see if we can uh, set this clock without electrocuting myself here. <laughs> this is very dangerous, folks. So you know. hours to work on this was even a pain in the butt even before I done it I think the switches are bad two three here we go six seven thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so here we go, folks. We've converted this clock to 24 hours. It's a clock radio. So technically all we need to do here is to put a switch in the back of this, in the top and the side, wherever, and we can actually select between a 12-hour clock and a 24-hour clock. So there you have it, folks. That's how you convert a General Electric 7-4835 Bravo from 12 hour to 24 hours. I don't think there's been too many of these type of videos on YouTube showing how this is done. But like I said, for the sake of $3, I'd, uh, I'd have a go at it. So there we have it. Even though the, they were trying to hide what kind of chip it is, it made no difference. Because in the end, a little bit of experimenting, we got her. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video folks. All the best. So what I've done in order to my plan I got a switch put in the back of the clock radio and what this switch is going to allow me to do is to be able to set the clock radio between 12 hours and 24 hours so basically the white wire center pin is common uh, the red wire would be 24 
and the blue wire there would be 12 and that would go back to the programming pins right here so if I switch mount it I'm going to re-solder the, the, the uh, speaker here and then put the covers and everything back on here I think it's going to be a pretty cool little project don't you think Okay boys, so here we go, the General Electric 7-4835 Bravo. Uh, I have a switch again put on back of the unit to switch between 12 hours and 24 hours. So right now it is 7.53 p.m. local time. And at the flick of the switch, that's what it is in 24 hours, 1953. 1953 hours. That is a pretty cool modification, if I do dare say so myself. Anyways, hope this little video comes in handy for somebody. Gives you an idea what you can do with your uh, old portable uh, clock AM FM radios. They're like a dime a dozen out there. And for us amateur radio guys, that likes to know that likes to have the time in 24 hours there you have it and uh, only one drawback with this thing uh, once she hits 20 she won't show the two obviously because there's no full digit here so what she'll so what she will show you is this top digit here and then zero and then 21 will be that digit and one and, you know and on she goes sort of thing so there you have it just to give you an idea right now she's at 23 2300 hours and at 12 hours that would be 11 p.m. which is 2300 hours right give you an idea how it will work